Today marks a year since the dangerous HVAC collapse at Gaylord Rockies Hotel. Six people were hurt when the ductwork fell onto the pool there below. So here we are a year later and families are now suing Gaylord Rockies. Tonight, the wife of one man seriously hurt in the incident is speaking out for the very first time. She sat down exclusively with our Denver 7 re uh, investigative reporter, Chief Investigative Reporter Tony Kovaleski, who works. joins it us now. So, <laughs> Tony, what have you learned about this incident? Good evening. Yeah, it, it's very interesting. We know that for the past year, the Markevich family has worked to rebuild their lives. Several surgeries, dozens of doctor and therapy appointments later, the family is now speaking out for the very first time. They're sharing their story and now calling for accountability. We're just heartbroken over it. It was very preventable. She's talking about what unfolded inside the Gaylord Hotel exactly one year ago. Patty Markevich and her husband John were hosting a family celebration. It was their granddaughter's fourth birthday. It was just one big epic failure. She's describing what you can now see in these exclusive pictures taken by her family members inside the Gaylord's indoor water park pool area. In an instant, thousands of pounds of HVAC ductwork somehow became unhinged and crashed more than 30 feet onto the ground and pool area. Patty's husband, John, was crushed and trapped under a corner of the ductwork. While guests rushed out of the pool, Patty tried to help her husband. He was fighting for his life. Please stay with us. Please stay with us. We didn't know. I mean, he was, there was blood everywhere. He was crushed. Her husband, John, suffered a traumatic brain injury and multiple fractures. Five others were also seriously injured on that day. Attorneys for the families recently filed this 100-page lawsuit against the owners of the Gaylord Hotel and 12 other defendants, citing gross negligence. It's a family tragedy that never should have happened. When you cut corners, something bad is going to happen and people are going to get hurt. The most important thing um, people need to know is that what happened to my husband and my family should never, ever, ever happen to anyone ever again. Our investigative team is digging deeper into exactly what happened one year ago today at Gaylord of the Rockies Resort. In the coming weeks, we will share with you what we have discovered. And finally, our calls to the lead legal counsel for Gaylord have not been returned. I'm Chief Investigative Reporter Tony Kovaleski. Jessica.